Hello, good evening, welcome people of the internet. This is Houseborn's World, my name is Pete. A little while back I have promised you all that I would be getting the third gen Ryzen CPU. And I am going to live to my promise. And you may be asking, as this video is titled, where is my 3900X? Now I don't, at this point in time, now, if I'm buying a 3900X, because there's also a 3950X, which is coming out in September. 3900X being 12 core, 3950X being 16 core. Do I really need a 16 core? But anyway, there is big reasons that I haven't got a 3900X yet. And let's start this perilous journey all the way at the beginning i will keep this as short as possible and this is just going to be me talking to the camera so if you don't want to see my ugly mug or what's on screen just listen to it on your headphones sit back relax because there are issues of course it's a bloody pc of course there are issues but am i so glad i have held back currently i'm going to explain why so let's just flip over to the very, very start of the journey. I am on the AMD driver support landing page. When I say driver support, I'm talking about AMD chipset drivers. And if you're going to buy a Ryzen 3000 CPU, or you are even thinking of upgrading from a first gen Ryzen, or a second gen Ryzen, a Zen Plus, to a third gen, I would highly recommend the first thing that you do is come onto the AMD page and download the AMG and download the AMD chipset drivers that are relevant to your motherboard. Now we know that when Ryzen launched, it launched with the X370. They done a revision with Zen Plus, the X470, and now with third gen Ryzen, we have X570. Now, if you're on X370 or X470, but even if you're on X570, you need to update these chipset drivers. Reason being because the certain BIOS updates that you're going to have to do for the earlier revisions of motherboards will require that you install these chipset drivers before you update the BIOS. So, I'll put all the links to the websites in the video description so you can go and check this out. Now, I have pre-installed AMC chipset drivers which is revision, hang on to your horses, 1.07.07.07 so I'm fully up to date. So now we're fully up to date, woohoo! Let's go and get an updated BIOS. But again, before we go rushing into installing BIOSes that might not work, let's do a little bit of research. So, one second. So for a little bit of research, I have gone onto a thread that I've been following ever since I bought my Asus Crosshair Hero 6 motherboard or Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard, however you want to say it. It's an invaluable thread to gain knowledge on BIOSes, any bugs or problems that there is with installing those BIOSes. Highly recommend you go to this site and you RTFM. Now, if you're not into that, and you think, well, whatever, I'm installing it, you may run into big problems. So I've read all through the current thread, um, working my way through, and the consensus is that people who are on the Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard, the Asus rug board, the most premium board when Zen launched, for the people that have bought the 3000 Gen Series CPUs, problems. First of all, when they've updated the latest BIOS, which is 
7106, which Asus still have up on their website for download. Just remember that number, 7106. So they've gone ahead, installed 7106, and I've had issues, issues with booting, issues with error codes on the boards, some people have had issues in Windows, some people have actually got it all up and running, only to find that when they shut the machine down, they can't boot, can't boot back into Windows. They have to go into the motherboard or around the back of the machine, clear the CMOS, completely boot from scratch, and then the machine will boot up. Or some people will say, teething problems, how many times have we been through this? AMD and various motherboard vendors. Something I can live with. But the problem is, for example, if you install in Windows updates and the machine doesn't reboot, it detects that and thinks the machine's had a failure. So then when it does actually boot up, it rolls your updates back. And in this day and age, not installing important security updates is bad. Okay. So, AMT have been slightly saved by the fact that when I checked, as of today, if we go through a few sites that I would purchase PC equipment from, because I think they're fairly bloody good sites, SCAN, for example, SCAN. So the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X pre-order. Okay, so Scan doesn't have a note. Let's try another website. Overclockers UK, one of my firm favourites. I've often made the trip down to Overclockers when they used to work in the industrial estate. I know they've moved to a bigger premise now, somewhere that's not actually under inside the industrial estate. But anyway, sorry, I digress. First time I've said digress in one of my videos, I think. But anyway pre-order okay right let's try another site then so on to aria and although they've got an in stupid inflated price there so your prices are aria stock zero in stock 3900x gen 3 12 core not in stock okay so when nobody has got stock of anything as a last resort so last resort, I move to eBuyer. Now eBuyer is fantastic if it's actually got stock in. eBuyer, normally they've got stock, oh, pre-order. And they do happen to say they're expecting stock on Friday the 26th of July. So the sad moral of this video is that even when the CPUs do come out, if you've got an older motherboard, it's not 100% at the moment going to work with the new CPUs. Now that's not saying that every motherboard on the market is affected. Other vendors are catching up quickly and there is a new version of the AGESA code that they're working on to push out to help with the Ryzen 3000 series. Now what I find, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely infuriating, these chips must have been gone out early to motherboard vendors. Motherboard vendors must have had these at least one or two months before pre-release. You'd think in that time, they would have a BIOS sorted that would be absolutely 100% compatible, ready for the launch of the new CPUs. Once again, if you're an once again, if you're an early adapter, you're just being slapped. It's not really on. And why we live in a world where this is allowed to happen, I don't know. If all this was German controlled, it would not happen. I'll tell you that now. 
Germans well renowned for getting things perfect and correct and in the right order and working. That's why the reputation precedes them. Japanese engineering, clinical, spot on. Come on, why, why are we going? Why do we have to go through this crap? I don't know. So that's the boat we're in. And word of warning if you're like myself, you do have the Crosshair 6 Hero. Be very wary that if you do get a 3000 series CPU and you install the BIOS that is currently available, there are also issues with uh, the voltages and certain settings being too high you do have a big chance of damaging your new CPU. So for the minute, I'm sitting back, I'm gonna let the dust settle, and when it seems like there's a bit of sense going on, I am gonna look, up, look at upgrading. I'm so torn, a 12 core or a 16 core. At present, I'm erring back to the 12 core, the only reason being 16 core hasn't even been released yet. We don't know if there's latency between the memory controllers and the two dice. It's effectively two 8 core 16 thread CPUs bolted together. I don't know would that affect latency in game or anything like that. It could be that the 16 core gets released and then we go through all these troubleshooting and problems with the earlier motherboards. It might not even be compatible. It is a shit storm at the minute. I really am erring towards the 3900X, but until we get mature BIOSes, until other people start ironing out the kinks, I'm holding back. Sorry if anybody's watching the channel was hoping I was going to dive straight in. I, that's what was my plan. I'm rambling. <laughs> I need to uh, wrap this video up now. If you're still here, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, hanging in there. <sighs> PCs. AMD. What can I say? It will be good. <laughs> it will be in good. Once it's all been sorted out as ever. I suppose the moral of the story is don't pre order, don't rush in and buy stuff. Sit back, and not only that, uh, someone did comment on one of my videos. By the time in September the new CPU comes out, we'll be heading in towards Christmas, and I'm sure. The Ryzen 9 3900X will drop in price and around Black Friday will be even cheaper. If you don't really need to upgrade right now, hold your horses, especially if you're on an older motherboard. Do your research and only fire that shopping trigger when you know that you're going to buy it and it's not going to cock your system up. So in the meantime, more videos to come. Do not get me started on Xbox Game Pass. Another share of shit. Coming to the channel soon. Thank you for watching. See you later. Peace out all.